we're going to calculate the value of the square root of tan 6 degrees plus 1 over tan 6 degrees minus 1. So we'll write down all the figures on the calculate display and I'll skip the answer to the decimal. So what I'm showing you here is the insert from the calculator, exactly how I put it in. So my calculator allows me to put the square root um, over everything, but I put brackets around the tan 60 plus 1 and around the tan 60 minus 1 so that they would divide each other first or that tan 60 minus 1 will go into tan 60 plus 1 um, before we take the square root. It's also important to notice that I need brackets around the angle that I put into tan. If I put tan 60 plus 1 in without brackets, it would have given me the tan of 61, which is not what I want. I want the tan of 60, and I want to add that to 1. So I'll just make these steps clear that the square root of, then the brackets for the division, then tan, and then make sure brackets that you get tan 60, you work out that, get that value first, and then add on one. Brackets, so that's our numerator, divided by, let's just take that across, and then again, tan 60, in brackets, so it works out what tan 60 is, and then subtract one, and then brackets again, and make sure the square root um, goes over everything. It might be that you work out this first, and then you take the square root of that answer. You'll have to work out how your calculator works. The correct answer is on the screen, obviously I can, well, I can handwrite that down here as required, but make sure you know how your calculator works so you get the answer. And make sure you write it on the screen. It says every decimal place now. Some calculators have more decimals than others, but they'll be aware of that. But if I was to get four marks, then that's what I've got to write.